The Basilisk figures among the most emblematic and known mythical creatures nowadays. Its appearance and origins evolved a lot over the years, as well as its importance and place among European folklore, but it remained one of the deadliest mythical creatures in history. Today, we will go over the origins and myths surrounding this fabulous beast. The Basilisk's origins are rather vague and uncertain, like most mythical creatures. Some say that the myth might have started with reports of deadly cobras in ancient times because they shared many similarities with the basilisk, like having the ability to spit poison, to kill humans with a single bite, and of course having the same common enemy, mongooses. It is said that the basilisk is born from a toad or an old rooster's egg incubated under a cockerel for a while. What hatched from it is a snake-like creature whose destructive and deadly powers had no match. One of the earliest legitimate attestation of the basilisk in history was in Pliny the Elder's Naturalis Historia. The Roman author compared the creature to another legendary beast, the Catoblepas, an Ethiopian mythical beast. Both mythical creatures had one common ability. Those who met the eyes of these creatures were struck by immediate death. As I said earlier, the description of the basilisk evolved a lot ranging from ancient times up until about the 17th century. Originally, it was described as a small grass snake that advanced with its thorax upward, unlike other snakes, and it also had some sort of protrusion on the top of its head that looked like a crown, which is why the basilisk was also known as the Serpent King. However, later on during medieval times, in bestiaries, the basilisk was portrayed as a much larger reptile that sometimes breathed fire as well. It was around that time as well that ways to escape or counter the basilisk's power came along. One of the ways to counter a basilisk was to always carry a crystal globe to reflect the creature's deadly stare, and thus killing itself. The second way was to always carry a weasel or a mongoose, since they were known to be the eternal enemies of basilisks. And finally, the other way to counter a basilisk was to carry a cockerel because the crowding of the animal made the mythical beast insane, and always ended up dying after hearing it. The basilisk is also often represented as a hybrid between a rooster and a large reptile, it would look like a massive rooster with reptilian eyes, but with a long snake or dragon tail instead. It was said that every part of the basilisk's anatomy was deadly and extremely poisonous. Any living thing that was touched, breathed on, or even seen by the mythical beast was met with painful death. Indeed, its breath, its gaze, and even its saliva were fatal for not only humans, but pretty much any living creature. The destructive powers of the basilisk were said to be the cause of the very low population in the deserts of Libya and the Middle East, where it was said that the creature originated from. Throughout history, the basilisk was mostly associated with evil and death. It was often used by the Christian church during medieval times to symbolize demons or the devil himself. Therefore, it was common to see statues and carvings representing the creature on the church's murals, it was also around the same time that the basilisk was included in the heraldry of various European noble houses. So this concludes today's video. Thanks everyone for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, do not hesitate to share the video and to subscribe to the channel for even more myths and legends. Now then, thanks again, and see you all very soon for another one.